Well, believe it or not, we are now just a couple of months away from planting season for peanuts. While farmers need to be on the lookout for the usual pests and diseases, there's also a relatively new insect that is causing major damage in some fields around the state. With more on that, here's UGA peanut entomologist Mark Abney. It's a pest that's been in Georgia for many, many years. It's not an invasive species, uh, but it has not been a major problem until probably around 2010 when we started seeing some serious economic loss in peanuts because of feeding damage. A good way to think of it is a stink bug that lives in the ground. Most people know what a stink bug is and the burrow bug is very similar to that. It feeds in the same way. It's got a mouth that's like a hypodermic needle. It sticks its mouth parts into a peanut that's developing underground and sucks juice out of the seed, which leaves a spot on the seed and makes it unsellable and unusable for either peanut butter or candy or snacks. Because the insect spends most of its time below ground, and when it's not below ground, it's usually nighttime, it's very difficult to monitor. It's hard for growers to know if they have a problem or not. And that's one of the issues, one of the research topics that we're working on here at the University of Georgia is trying to figure out how we can predict or monitor where the insect is in any given year. A grower plants his peanuts and he really doesn't know if burr or bug is going to be a problem or not. And it, it creates a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear because burr or bug damage is it's a really significant problem for growers who have it. I mean, it's, a, it's devastating in terms of econ economics. You go from a, a crop that could, right now peanut contracts are $475 a ton. With burr or bug damage, that's $110 a ton. So the, the economic impact is absolutely devastating. There are only a few recommendations we have for growers who have burrow bug problems. One of those is deep tillage. Um, a lot of our peanut acreage is deep tilled every year, but a lot is not. We have a lot of growers who are using conservation tillage. They don't want to deep till, but that does help reduce burrow bug infestations. The other thing is an application of an insecticide called chlorpyrifos during the growing season. First of all, we, we got funding over the last couple of years from the National Peanut Board and the Georgia Peanut Commission to do some preliminary research. We took the findings of that work and put together a grant proposal that went to the USDA this past spring and we got funded to do a project and there's collaborators from USDA and Auburn University and here at the University of Georgia. And we've got a couple of main goals, but one of those is to try to figure out what it is, what are the risk factors that lead to burr bug infestations in a given field so that if a grower wants to plant peanuts in a field this year, what are the odds of that person having or that field having burr bug damage? in say 2017. You know we can find burrower bugs everywhere we look. We put light traps in 15 counties over the last two years, each of the last two years, and every light trap we catch burrower bugs, even in counties where they've never had economic loss because of the, the insect. So I think that none of our growers are completely free from risk. Uh, there have been some counties where we've had more problems than others. Counties that have historically higher levels of conservation tillage have tended to have high, more problems. Uh, but I think it's a problem when I talk to growers, if, if you have never had burr or bug issues on your farm, don't lose sleep at night worrying about burr or bugs. But if you have had a problem, you know, those are the growers that we're, you need to think about maybe changing your tillage practices or using those, that granular insecticide.